Hey, it's Jill, and this video is going to be a Herschel Orion mini backpack review, as well as a what's in my bag video. So I use this Herschel Orion bag as my purse. I've been using it for over a year now, I think almost two years now, coming up this summer. And I do really like it, and I've got a lot of use out of it. So this size is the mini size. They have a small as well as a mid-size one as well. But I got the mini because it was going to be used as a purse, so I didn't want it to be very big. It's five liters, which I think is a good size. It fits my vlogging camera if I'm vlogging, and then it also fits my wallet perfectly fine and as well as any of my essentials that I need in here. I thought I should show what it looks like on. I like mine kind of sitting lower than, I don't know what the normal is, but I like mine sitting about here and I think that it is a good size. It doesn't look super big and bulky and yeah, I really like the size of this one. So this material, it is a wrinkled nylon as you can see here if it's going to focus. The nylon is kind of has some texture to it, which I think is cool. And then it has the leather panel here at the front, which is also a pocket. And what drew me to this bag was the leather part at the front, just because I thought it made it a little bit dressier compared to, say, the Nova backpack, which was all just the canvas material. I liked the little upgrade of the leather. I found the nylon and the leather to be good quality. I'm not really gentle with this bag at all. I put it in on the ground where it's muddy or messy, and it's been super easy to wipe clean if needed. And for its features, it has the two carrying handles up here. Honestly, it's it doesn't really matter whether it's two or one, but I honestly usually carry it this way, and rather than on my back with these straps. I don't really know why I do that, but I think that I mean, the handles are normal. It has this front zipper pocket, and normally I put in, well, I have nothing in it right now, but I would put in like a lip balm or something small in here. I put a lock in it when I went to the gym and used this bag. It's good for just really small things that you would like to have accessible easily. And then inside there is a, another little slip pocket at the back here. And I try to put like bobby pins and random essentials at the back, but honestly, I'm like throwing this bag around all the time anyway, so the back part, whatever goes in the back part, usually just ends up in the main compartment anyway. In this back compartment here right now, I have my insurance paper for my car, and then I have this Sephora little slip wallet thing. Honestly, this part showing me what I have in my bag probably isn't super helpful, like, but I don't know, I thought it would be fun. I have this old Polaroid that I accidentally took at my friend's house. And then I have After Bite. It's literally winter, but I had it in the summer because I had so many mosquito bites. And I have a little flower sticker I think I got from an Etsy shop when I got something, a little lip balm. And then that is all that I keep, at the moment at least, in the little back part. I did have bobby pins, but I think I probably used it. And then in the main compartment here, I have my wallet. I got this wallet for my birthday this year. It's from Coach. It's super cute and then i got this mask and n95 i had to wear an n95 for work for a little bit there now i don't but i also have this hand cream since it's winter my hands have been so dry and i've been forgetting to moisturize so i brought it for when i'm at work and then i just have my keys my name tag for work a western cares button that was literally from last year for during covid another little sticker I guess this is a purse cleanup, honestly. And two masks, fabric masks. I should wash those. A pen, a Muji pen here. And then I'll put that in the back section. I have these headphones. Oh yeah, I brought those to work one day. And then I have this rock here. I feel like I got this at the beach that Paul and I went to or something in Niagara and I wanted to keep it as a little keepsake. So that is all that I have in here. I'm going to organize that all later. So back to the features of the bag. So it has metal zippers and hardware. They are gold toned and I really like the tone of the blue with the gold. I think that looks really nice. I haven't had an issue with the zippers being difficult to open or close. Like they're pretty smooth in my opinion. And I like how there's two of them so that I can open it from both sides and then the straps are adjustable like pretty much every backpack purse is and they're supposed to be slim straps but honestly i feel like these straps are the same width as any other kind of backpack purse that you would get and then it does subtly have the herschel emboss logo on the front there which i really like because it's super subtle and not just like 
a big logo okay so that is it for this herschel mini orion backpack review as well as showing you what's in my purse so i think i want to get the lululemon mini backpack too i just love backpacks i think they're so cute and versatile so let me know if i should get that but i hope that this video was helpful i would definitely recommend this if you're looking for it i don't think this blue is available anymore but they have like a nice pink some green a dark green and a black I think they have a red too. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they do. So I would recommend it if you're looking for a cute small backpack to be used as a purse. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video as well as comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more review videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.